Hey investors, Joe here, Joe's Investment Express. Behind me is my attention getting device, Indonesia Energy Corp, symbol INDO, which went up from 2.6 to $50 in just a few days. Let me tell you, if your portfolio is bleeding money every day, um, there is money to be made in the energy stocks. I posted my first video on energy stocks like a month ago. Virtually no one has watched it. Um, there's actually two of them. So let's revisit energy again and uh, hopefully at least a handful of you will watch and um, seize the opportunity. Now INDO is um, oil and gas. We're going to look at coal because the coal industry is breaking out. I have not seen a, a, a breakout like this in coal ever. And I don't know if it's going to last just a few more days, a few weeks, or a few months. It's certainly not going to last a few years. But let's try to get in and get out while the getting is good, so to speak. I'm going to show you 13 coal stocks, four that are actionable, that is, they're at really good buy points, and nine that have broken out, and you're going to have to wait for a pullback. And if you know of more, I don't. I only know of these 13, so if you know of more coal stocks, if you could give me the symbol in the comments section, I would really appreciate it. And by the way, this is not financial advice. You need to make your own investment decisions. This is just entertainment. This is just for education. I'm not a financial investor. I am not an energy expert. I don't know anything about coal mining, except for a few movies that I've seen. I have been investing since 1996. So let's look at the coal stocks. Um, I'm going to come back to the ones with the actionable charts. So let me just show you the ones that have broken out so you can get a feel for the potential. And then I'll show you the four that are still at good buy points. And we'll look at the fundamentals of those on uh, my favorite platform, MarketSmith. This is StockCharts.com. So Alpha Metallurgic metallurgical resources wow what a nice tight 45 degree breakout that unfortunately is getting parabolic now look at this buy volume that's insane I did buy into this one and I sold it too soon but that's okay you can get rich selling stocks too soon now I gotta wait for another base to form or for it to touch up to the 50 day here's Archcoal ARCH I did the same thing I sold it right around here and now it has gone super parabolic do not FOMO into this thing because stocks do not stocks that go straight up tend to go straight down um, quite soon afterward. But wow, 47% in less than a month. Here's ARLP Alliance Resource Partners. It's not too extended, but I've got a couple more for you that are less extended. But this could be, you know, if it pulls back to the buy point, that that could be an option. Look at that buy volume. This is BTU Peabody Energy. I actually did buy the the cheat handle here. Here you got um, like a low cheat and a cheat. I actually bought it, I think, on this day. Oops, whatever. What day is this? February 23rd, and I'm still in it and I'm doing really well, thankfully, on that one. CNX, another big, beautiful breakout. Glencore, Core, G L N C Y. I'll put all of these symbols in the description, by the way. You don't need to scramble to write them down. Nice 45 degree, um, what, chart. Big old gap up here. Is that going to be an abandoned baby? I don't know. We'll find out what the heck happened on the 20. 5th of February. Look at that huge sell volume. If anybody knows anything about that, um, that'd be interesting to know. HCC Warrior Met Coal. My goodness, 40% in less than a month. Spectacular. Don't FOMO in now. It's too late. NRP Natural Resource Partners. This one is a little calmer. It's making a nice little channel here. You could still get into this down here by the 21 day or the 50-day Sun Coke Energy. Man, look at these breakouts. This is what you want to see. These are racehorses leaving the gate, and I love this chart. Look at this long, flat base for, what, nine months, ten months, and then a perfect handle. 
a shakeout. Don't you feel like a loser if you sold here at 7.3? And then boom, one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven days up in a row. But these charts don't do you any good right now because they're already broken out. Let me show you um, the stocks that are setting up nicely. These are ones that um, I'm looking to add very soon, hopefully next week. So CEIX, Console Energy, let's type that in here. CEIX. And as you can see, if you look at the chart, 99 relative strength, it's stronger than 99% of the S&P 500. That, my friends, is as good as it gets. It's near all-time highs. I like to buy stocks near all-time highs. Why are you buying stocks going down? Buy them on the way up. Um, let me move this so you can see it. I got to turn off that feature where things snap, where the window snaps. Anyway, P.E. ratio is 40. That's a bit elevated. No yield. That's disappointing. Um, revenue last quarter, 50%. EPS last quarter, almost 600%. It's been spotty like every other energy company. Yeah, that looks good in my book. And if you look at the chart, it's just pushing up against um, the top of this cup. This cup is a little deep, granted, but nothing's perfect. Um, it's just a little compressed. See how it took a lot of time here to... I, I like to see symmetry... So I would love for this to build a handle now, maybe retouch, come back down and touch 32 one more time. But it might just go. And if it breaks out from here, I'll buy it. But I'd really do it. I would be more comfortable doing a larger position if we see a handle or a pullback first. Here's HNRG, Halidor Energy. Same kind of thing. It just got up to the cup and it pulled back today. Um, I've, again, I mean, it's the same thing. I'd like to see a little bit of a pullback or a handle form, but it might just go. And if it goes, this industry is so hot, I'll make a play at it anyway and put a stop between 5 and 10%. Let's look at the fundamentals here. One second. Relative strength, 99. What else can we say about this one? Um... <clears throat> this company was losing money, so it doesn't have a P.E. ratio. Revenue plus 22, not too exciting. EPS, 300%, no yield. So the financials are nothing to write home about, but <clears throat> the industry is so powerful. I just think this one's going to get pulled up with the others. Now, granted, you're buying um, laggards here. You want to buy the first ones to break out. And um, I guess that's my fault because I haven't made a cold video till now. But um, when an industry is this hot, the laggards will work, albeit they probably won't perform as well as the leaders, which I just showed you the leaders. But let's give them a try. Like I said, METC, I do own this one. I bought the cheat. Let's see, where did I buy this thing? I think I might have bought it um, right down here. And I think I got shaken out, and then I had to buy it back right here. And now I'm in again, and it's kind of the same thing, guys. I want to see a handle form, a retouch maybe to the 8-day exponential moving average at 17. But again, it might just go. I like how it retouched today and then finished near the upper half of its range. That shows accumulation. Let's look at the fundamentals. Let's see here. METC, Ramico Resources, Relative Strength, 99. Um, PE Ratio, 21. That's pretty, that's not bad. Uh, revenue's been super strong 100%, 94%, 71%. Triple digit EPS for four quarters in a row, 2.5% yield. That's more like it. Um, I like this stock's fundamentals better than the other two. I think you do too, don't you? That's pretty good. And let's see, is there just one more? Yeah, there's just one more. Now, this is different than the others, isn't it? This is a cheaper stock. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Never mind. Disregard that. But this has got this wild 
um, wildly oscillating chart, but you'll notice it's very distinctly retouching this trend line. So we certainly could make a play um, with it being right near the trend line and then selling, um, well, I was going to say on a close beneath the trend line, but it just did that. Maybe you'd set uh, a sell stop here at like 29 or so. This thing is volatile, but gosh, this industry is so hot, it really might just go, they might make some sort of a double bottom here. Maybe it'll run to 38, make some sort of a, of a, of a cheat handle and then break out to 42 and then break out again. That's the game plan. Let's look at the fundamentals real quick. Once, so um, rev relative strength is only 89. That's not as good. PE ratio is only five. What? <laughs> that is ridiculously low. Either there's something wrong with this company that's holding it back, or investors just haven't found it for some reason. I don't know. You tell me, guys. I don't know anything about this company. I'm gonna have to get on their website. Do a little research this weekend. Surface mines that supply coal and lignite, yeah, to power companies, yield 2.6%. Revenue 30, 60, 112%. EPS triple digits the last couple years, making seven bucks for the year in 2021. I don't see, I don't see why this isn't a screaming buy. Honestly, so what the heck do we do here? Um, it's this is a 200-day exponential moving average. It's kind of ignoring it though. Um, interestingly, sometimes the fund managers watch watch that line very carefully, but some stocks they don't. So we want to buy it when it's heading up. So if it makes a decent move to the upside, here's some here's some supply between 30 and 31. Let's let it get above 31. If it makes a move above 31 on Monday, I'll buy it and I'll do probably a small purchase and then I'll put my stop down here at about 28. That's a three dollar stop so I can't have too big of a of a of a, um, a position. And then we'll hope that it does what I said. It'll make a handle with 34 break out again. Then we could buy more, raise our stop a little bit. That should work, right? Let's hope so. You know, I'm not too worried about this huge spike. This was only two days. Most of these buyers have already shaken out. Well, I try to keep these to 10 minutes, and we are at 12, almost 13. If you could like this video, maybe tell some of your friends. I don't know why, but no one watches my energy stock videos, and this is where the money is being made right now. Let me know your thoughts on any of these companies, if you know anything about them, if you know any more coal stocks. And have a great weekend. It's Friday night. Um, get out there and have some fun. Okay, everybody, take care.